what Chris is doing. So I'm waking up at 7 a.m. When I finish that, I go grab some breakfast. I always make a list of what we need to do for tomorrow. Of course, they are doing the same and they have a lot of stuff going on. We open up this computer right here, this MacBook that solves all of our problems, and we just start crunching, man. We look at our website, we see what adjustments we need to make. The reason why we're where we are is because of our customer service. It's because every single person gets treated like family, whether you're buying a t-shirt or you're coming to see it as if it's a museum or you're buying a $50,000 watch. It's all about the way you treat people and the responses that you get. When we decided to open up a sneaker store, obviously we were thinking of names and we just started throwing out names and my partner was said Sneak Peek. And we were like, it was like one of those names that really stuck, you know? And the whole goal of Sneak Peek was to do high-end items, watches, sneakers. So that's where luxury came in. It was one, a differentiator to make us different and set us aside from all the other people. But mainly, other than that, it was something that really tied into what we were doing. And I just want to bring that natural feeling back in sneakers for the culture. I mean, I've been doing it for three and a half years and it's gotten a lot easier. In order to get consignment, you gotta really hit the, the trifecta, which is A, having a popular social, B, making sure that your store is recognized worldwide, and C, having website traffic. If you don't have these three items, I like to call it the trifecta, you're not going to be successful in the sneaker game. And it's unfortunate, but it's the reality. One thing that I wanna thank is social media platforms, because although they have ruined the world, it's gotten a lot easier to do business. What might have taken me 30 years in a different century took me three years today. I'm so humbled to even have relationships with the people that I do have and I didn't even know it was possible because now Ryan Chazier will be like, hey Mike, can I introduce you to Le'Veon Bell? He wants a shoe. And I'm like, can you? Like, yeah, if you put in good, you're gonna get what you put in. So I'm on FaceTime right now with Richie Perez, the owner of Six Souls FTL. He is uh, also known as Flypaper and has a, has a niche of his store, which is different than most stores. He's a customizer. So that's an actual Louis Vuitton Supreme custom messenger bag. He cut up uh, denim jeans from the LV Supreme release that resell for about $2,500. We did these Air Force Ones before anyone did these. And basically we cut up the LV Supreme denim. We also did these bracelets, made some Apple watches and stuff too. We have a new collection coming out that's top secret, but it'll be out soon so everyone can see. All right, Richie, yo, just- yeah, I'll call you later, brother. All right, call me. Is this where you do a lot of brainstorming? Yeah, just nice to just cool out and kick it and just, you know, think, reflect. Sometimes, you know, I need 10, 15 minutes, little meditation break or whatever, maybe a little coffee break. I'm a big gamer, big gamer. I've recently got on this Fortnite wave. I really didn't want to because it's a big waste of time for real, for real. <laughs> I wanted to add on to what I was saying prior. I've been doing it for three and a half years and it's gotten a lot easier. A big problem that I had before was I thought that I needed every single sneaker. I thought every release that came out, I needed to buy a bunch of them to make sure that my clients got them. So the 750 gray gums came out and the OG grays were going for about 2,500 or 3,000. So obviously, amateur Mike thought the gray gums have to go for the same price. And a good friend of mine told me, hey, we can get 80 pairs but it's $1,550 a pair. So that is $124,000. I didn't even have enough money to buy the shoes at the time. I had took a small loan. And on top of that, I sold all my V1s for way under what I paid. I sold them for about 600 a pair. Now, if you guys know sneakers, you know what happened, right? The 350s, I would have sold for double the price that I sold them for because they all skyrocketed. And the gray gums, as you well know, were worth about $900. So I took big losses, but that was a valuable lesson right there. I never forced a purchase again. So basically, I mean, I'm, I'm born and raised in Miami, lived here for all 26 years. I was the first one in my family to be born here. My family's Russian. And it's a very interesting place. 
And as I said, it has its ups and downs, but as long as you understand what you want and you set your goals and define your goals, I feel that it's a beautiful place to live. Three and a half years ago, there was no store in Miami where you could walk in and buy a pair of Yeezys, a pair of limited Jordans, a pair of off-whites, no such thing. We created a lot of noise with the sneaker heads and the sneaker culture in Miami. And what Sneak Peek has done has really brought a lot of the culture and a lot of the people together because we're a very family-oriented business. So people have been telling me, Mike, are you worried about round two coming? A public service announcement, I am ecstatic and cannot wait. It's gonna be great for the culture of Miami. I love competition and I'm excited to meet Sean. Everybody has to eat and get a piece of the pie in order for it to be a healthy financial ecosystem. And that's really what I'm trying to build because I see the bigger picture. I'm Daniel Cohen. I'm one of the owners here at Sneak Peek Luxury. My job here is to do a little bit of business development with Michael and grow that aspect and then also do the back end, which is all the inventory, incoming consignment. I mean, down to making sure that Comcast or Hotwire has a better yeah. fiber and internet <laughs> cable, you know? Right, right. So basically the infrastructure and the foundation behind what the company does, even though we all have a role in that. Right, right. Now, every time I come to a, a sneaker boutique store or whatever it be, I always check out what's around the store more so than the shoes, first and sure. foremost. A lot of items that you'll see on the wall here, it's either we have jerseys that are signed because of relationships and or local artists that will do certain pieces. They'll try to take the styles of the fashion that we carry and then do certain art pieces such as a babe head, which resembles all the bait merchandise that you see around. In the corner over there, we do have a local artist, uh, Fly Paper. He'll take a shoe, he'll slice it in half, he'll put it on a canvas and he'll resonate it. Wow. It's neat art, it at least gets an exposure for the local artist, and then also for us, it's a great look. This is one of the most important pieces that we have. This was actually custom made by Ocean Man. Yep. So this is actually the internet platform sneak feed that we're doing um, that hopefully we're gonna compete with a lot of marketplaces out there. Moving on to some of the product. If you could explain your product in, in one word, what would it be? Exclusive. Okay. Luxury. The two words that capture all of what we do. So with the Jordans, really what we try to do is we try to give a history just based off of the way they're displayed. We try to have Yeezys in one section and then obviously we try to cater to all of our clients to have different price points, different styles. Mm -hmm. This whole shrine here, we try to put some of the more exclusive items here, not that everything else isn't. Yeah. But as you see there, we do have the Louis Vuitton Red Supreme jersey. Supreme just came out with a couple of the Fox Racing items. Apparel-wise, what are some of the hot items? I would say V-Lone is really hot. I mean, always Supreme. We have mm -hmm. Babe, very famous football player, can sign this to us. Mm -hmm. So we try to get really hot and exclusive. I would say Bape is one of the hottest items just because you can't really find it too many places. Anti-social, social club, you know, our sneak peek luxury merch is always yeah, the best yeah, one. Yeah. Travis Scott came out with the Jordans. Mm -hmm. So he also has merch from his concerts. What we really try to build behind the name sneak peek luxury is the boutique feel of being able to go into a store not become another flight club where you're just kind of a number and all of a sudden you see a wall of shoes where there's no rhyme or reason behind what you want to choose. Wow. So we try to do more catering to the clients. You want to be taken care of the same way you go to Bell Harbor shops or go to Louis Vuitton or Gucci, whatever store it is, you want that red carpet feel out. So that's what we try to do with the lines and what you see here. So I'm Jonathan Kababi, I'm one of the owners of Sneak Peek Luxury. Mm -hmm. I do the finances, consignment, and try to just keep everybody happy. I sometimes work the floor a little bit and keep everything organized. This is the main office, this is where we keep all inventory, mm -hmm. our merchandise, the consigners merchandise. I'll show you a little bit about how I organize that and I keep it so that we're able to keep things smooth, you know, on an everyday basis. All the stuff that we own, you know, as a store that's our merchandise, I keep on one side of the wall. Mm -hmm. That way it's easier to separate it. Yeah. And then 
if you see a green sticker on any of the boxes, that means that it's a consigner. And this is one of our main consigners, so I kind of kept him on his own rack. He needs his so own rack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's one of the main guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Over here, more of the newer stuff. This is like some of the, the Jays that just came out over the last year, like the Bread Toes, Cactus Jacks, Free Throws, UNC Off Whites. Then I separate the V2s and the Yeezys and all that by box, because then. Yeah. My sales guy comes upstairs, you know, it's easier for him to find things. He's not losing his mind going like, yeah, oh, where's yeah. this, where's that? Right. I need a cream, he comes, here's a cream. I need a zebra, here's a zebra. Right. And that way it's a lot easier for him. So doing this job, you have to have some level of OCD, right? Yeah, huge. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's maybe because of the way I grew up. My parents are super yeah. picky, you know, like, why, why is that here? They've always been watching over my shoulder, so now I just do it and watch over their shoulder and try to get them on the same page with me. All right, Brandon, sneak peek luxury. We're on the luxury side of everything now. You guys are in the watch business. How did that come about? My dad was actually a huge watch dealer back in the late 80s. He passed away a couple years later and I grew up around watches. My uncle sells watches. And once we opened sneak peek luxury, it seemed that a lot of clients also would have Rolex AP Patek on. And we realized no other stores doing this. We have to implement this. And we started offering wholesale watches to our retail clients. What are some of the brands that you guys sell? We deal with Rolex AP and Patek mainly. Right here, we have a bust down AP Royal Oak. Ticket on this is 38,000. All the diamonds are VS. This is a limited IWC. There's 250 of them. It's the Top Gun edition. Super hard to find. A lot of people like it because it's black and red and it's all ceramic. A lot of collectors like to have a broad range of things. Yeah. Um, a couple of our clients only went with modern and they see these bust downs and even though you never expect them to buy it, they have the money and they like it, it's cool. And they'll buy that along with like a vintage Rolex that you never think right. would go together. We have um, probably six, seven brands always right. in stock. Rolex, AP, Patek, Breitling, Cartier, Hublot. We deal with a huge range of them. And people are able to customize. Yeah, so well. if you want to have a diamond dial or a diamond bezel or a certain color, certain style, we could do anything. Today, Super VIP needs this watch with a black diamond dial for tonight for his wife. So we're gonna do our best to get it done and we're gonna make it happen. He's the dial plug. So we're gonna get a black dial with diamonds on it to fulfill this guy's order. And we're gonna have it put in the watch, water tested, polished, everything by the end of today. And we're gonna deliver and they're gonna be happy people. So how many times do you do this like per day? It's almost always a call like, Hey, yo, I need something tonight, uh, blah, 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 blah. Usually probably three, four times a day. I usually know about one of them and the rest are just sprung on. I need a black diamond dial for, this is new style. 116233. Yeah, 36. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Without Brandon, we wouldn't be able to fuel the engine of the luxury aspect of sneak peek. So what I do is I make sure to get them on all the athletes and all the artists and everyone that shops with us. We do a little bit of everything to tailor to our clients and make sure you guys are happy so it's a one-stop shop. We can cater to a 13-year-old kid or we can cater to a NBA professional basketball player. Well, there you have it, folks. Sneak peek luxury, sneakers, watches, jewelry. Mike, where can we find you? You guys can go on our Instagram at Sneak Peek Luxury, S-N-E-A-K-P-E-E-K-L-U-X-U-R-Y. We're the same social media handle on all platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, sneakpeakluxury.com. Please follow us on our journey. I promise you things are only getting bigger and better. And I believe we are the biggest sneaker store you've never heard about.